All right, AC, you're fading. You're fading the Golden Boys, the Oklahoma oh City God. Thunder. We yeah. right before we hopped on, they got the W at home against the Boston Celtics. Shea Gilgis Alexander efficiently puts up thirty-seven and seven, damn near every night. It seems they have a well-rounded group. Giddy was involved tonight versus Boston. They got a big W at home. Why are you fading them in this spot against the Hawks? Man, OKC is one of the best teams in the NBA, and they are one of the hottest right now. They won eight out of their last nine games, guys. But not only that, they've beaten like elite teams. They've beaten Denver twice during this stretch. They just beat Boston tonight, New York, Minnesota, the Clippers. Like This is a, a legit team, and I know people are sleeping them because of the name on, their, on the front of their jersey, right? OKC Thunder. But this hits every s- single signal, and I just have to take it, right? This is going to be a second night of back-to-back. They have traveling on the road to Atlanta. Atlanta hasn't played into, since December 31st, so they have two extra days of rest compared to OKC. OKC were four-point underdogs today and won outright as an underdog against Boston. So now they're traveling to Atlanta, a much inferior team. Atlanta is terrible towards the bottom of the of the east they're only 13 and 20 and they're only two point favorites against atlanta i'm gonna take atlanta there every single time because of the spot and i know there's a lot of rumors swirling with trades and things like that i don't really care about that right now i just think this is a great spot for atlanta to bounce back with the rest advantage the travel advantage and they're at home so give me atlanta at plus two and if you don't like that you can sprinkle the money line as well jay any thoughts on this spot for the Hawks catching a couple points versus a very locked in Oklahoma city thunder team. Yeah, it's not a great spot for the thunder. Um, it's real hard for me to bet on Hawks games because I never know when they're going to put things together. This is a great team. They just don't put things together. This team is one in 12 against the spread at the house. Like what the hell are we doing here? But I mean, AC laid it out. It's his a fishy line. We know that the public betters, the square betters, are going to be all over the Thunder here. They're coming off a game where they just beat the Boston Celtics, and the game came down. The game came down to the wire. But this is a back to back for the Thunder with travel, and they lose an hour with going from OKC to Atlanta as well. Probably going to get in to the hotel room maybe about one o'clock in the morning. So um, you got a back to back third game in four nights. Um, a fifth game in eight nights and sixth game in nine days. I know that this is a young team, but this is the ultimate fatigue spot for an NBA team. For uh, for the rookies, guys like uh, Ch- Chet Holmgren, not really used to playing this many games in this many days. So I agree with AC there. I can't get there with the Hawks, but this is the only way that I could look up. This is one of those fade the public type of spots, fade the world type of spots. They're going to be on the Thunder here for sure, and I'd wait to the last minute and possibly look towards the Hawks winning this game outright. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think if you wait, we're recording this Tuesday night. If you wait till tomorrow, this might be some movement in your favor, AC, if you like the Hawks. Now, <laughs> any way you shake it, when you go look at the Oklahoma City Thunder, it's fine. It's hard. You'd be hard pressed to find a bad number. The Oklahoma City Thunder this year, with the rest disadvantage, are five and zero ATS. That's the best in the NBA. If you go to uh, some other different numbers, nine and three ATS on the road are the Oklahoma City Thunder. Any way you cut it. If you look at the numbers to try to find a find a spot to fade the Oklahoma City Thunder, they have been showing up all all year. The last couple of years goes back to last year. So this is just one of those teams I have a really hard time fading because they're young and they seem to get up for every single game. But all that said, lay it all out. Rest in rest disadvantage on uh, they're undefeated on no rest on a back to back against the spread. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Then why is the number one? Why isn't it why isn't it a full possession? Why isn't it Thunder minus three, three and a half if they're rolling like they are? So this is a really interesting spot. I'm excited to see it. I think the Thunder are must see TV. If you like good basketball, team ball with a superstar leading the way, you should watch more Oklahoma City Thunder basketball. Let's see how that shakes. I'm interested to see. AC wanted the sharpest out. This is a this is a sharp spot. So we'll see how that shakes.